Look at all the character on these. Look at the lichen and moss growing. To make this pond look beautiful. I'm kind of a hands-on guy. I, I like to be involved in outdoor projects. I'm, I'm a, a gardener as a hobby. Between the work being done on the pool and the work being done on the pond, two different contractors, uh, I was involved in laying my own pipe for irrigation back here. I ran conduit for electrical work. Everybody we worked with, was they were all just really great about letting me be involved in that part of it. I gave that guy my rain jacket. What was I thinking? Good morning, everybody. Uh, first day out here. Well, actually, yesterday was the first day you were out here. Yeah, we That's the first some rock. Yeah, a little bit of rock. But we've got uh, our first day of actually building this pond. This is me. But what's interesting about this one is we get to put this in a screen enclosure. Um, so if you kind of pan around, you can kind of see the concrete wall going around everywhere. Um, that is the footer for the screen enclosure, and then behind us is the pool. So it's kind of interesting. And doing pools, um, it's always you have to come in at the right timing. So we always come in right after the coping is done. That's that uh, concrete paver that's poured on the outside of the pool there. Once that's done, we know our top elevation. So from that point, we can actually shoot grades to know where our water level is going to be um, and start setting the pond. So I'll let Sean go ahead and kind of give you a little um, briefing on what's up with the pond. I'm standing in it. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm actually going to have to bring retaining wall in about two feet high so I can backfill dirt around here. So biofall will start here. Waterfalls will start about. About this high, crashing down, coming down. I'm actually gonna have a big rock here that will split a fall. So I have a little bit of circulation going this way, a little bit of circulation going this way. Um, I'm gonna have pond coming out. I don't know about this area here. Somewhere out here, pond will come out too. I'm gonna have it kind of swoop in a little bit. Come in, meet up here. This pond is actually gonna come right up to the pool. And I'm gonna do something cool because they're gonna have a paper patio on this side, and a paper patio on the back side of the pool. So to join two patios, I'm gonna have kind of like a leapfrog rock, rock effect. I'll have, as soon as I get my spray paint back, I'll have a big step of rock kind of coming in. And here, I'm gonna do one over in this area. So it'll be more of like a stepping over this way and a stepping this way and then you're on the patio. So the fish will actually be able to swim all the way around it, which would be a really interesting effect. So good idea on Sean's behalf. And then over on this side, I'm going to be placing the skimmer. It'll be somewhere in, in this range. Um, basically that's where the pump houses. You'll have a, a net, uh, a basket actually, and a filter pad. You really won't need the basket inside a screen enclosure besides whatever leaf debris you're gonna have inside here from the foliage. Um, on this one, I don't have to build any fish caves because like Jason said, there's gonna be a screen enclosure. And on this one, uh, on this pond, I'm actually gonna be using the big excavator. I'm gonna be setting rocks that I can't handle by hand, so. So you're just gonna reach over and grab and set one at a time. We're gonna be able to use some really big boulders in a smaller space. It's gonna make a really nice effect. Pretty much it. Just get to work, right? Get to work. got here he's widening his hole making room for the large large rocks working his way up flattening it out nice shelf expert precision the attention to detail separates earthworks from everybody else let's go up 
fold in half and then crunch it up. Want to walk up to the waterfall? Yeah, I can walk in. All right, hold it there. Hey, Josh, you always want to start from the bottom. Get this work. Okay. Yeah, get this worked out and then work your way up. I don't worry about all the folds. Let's get the uh, straps ready. Rock straps. First rock I'm gonna strap up is that big boy. See, as you see, we got our liner in now. Um, underneath here, we have our underlayment, which you actually see a corner of it over here. Um, the underlayment basically protects the liner from any kind of roots or anything that will grow in here. So the roots will grow to that underlayment and then grow along it instead of going through it and through the liner. Um, it actually, gives a little buffer underneath the liner as well and I actually have one of our guys cutting little rock pads so any of these rocks that are sharper that I'm going to be setting I'll put rock pads underneath there to give it a little bit of buffer going on top of that liner uh, so yeah we're about to start setting rocks now I'm going to start setting the skimmer over on this side and uh, hopefully have a good portion of this rock today but weather permits we'll see it's supposed to be raining soon the initial idea when we put the pool in, we knew we wanted a koi pond. We've had one before. We didn't plan on having the waterfall with the pond. It was going to be part of the pool. And when we went searching for koi pond equipment, we came across Earthworks, walked onto the property and saw their waterfalls. And I knew right away we wanted an Earthworks waterfall and not one connected to the pool. The look of their waterfalls is, is so natural. The stonework is beautiful. I, I was just totally blown away the first time I saw it. I have a lot of experience with Japanese gardens, so I have that influence. And for me, it was important to have that in the design of the koi pond. Towards the Japanese influence, the, uh, the rock work was really important to me. That was probably number one. It was important to have large rocks, and a very natural look. Earthworks just really nailed it. With, with this pond there, I was really impressed with the work that they did. The, the overall design of our backyard is we wanted something with uh, curved lines and a natural look. We wanted to be able to tie in the, the gardening in the backyard outside of the pool with what was inside the screened in area and so it was important to us to have a garden area across the back so that it all kind of blends in. We worked very closely with the, the contractor for the pool. Um, we went back and forth for probably a month getting the design down. We, we knew what we wanted and trying to reel him in to get him to draw it up what the way we had pictured, uh, it took quite a bit of time. In contrast to that, we sat down with Jason and said, this is what we have in mind. We, we were able to show him some pictures, photographs of ponds and waterfalls, and, and we knew we didn't want to go too high and too big. And we, we had a space restriction, this corner of the backyard. So once he had that information, Jason drew it up and basically had the whole design nailed, exactly what we had pictured. The, uh, the overall effect of the pond is it's so pleasing and so relaxing that uh, it, it's really, for us, it's already paid for itself. And we spend a lot of time back here. We come out when it rains, it's, it's such a pleasant place to be, sitting back on the porch underneath the roof and. The whole pond kind of comes to life. All the plants are uh, soaked and everything's beautiful. The rocks look so nice when they're wet. Um, we were, the plants that we picked out, um, we've been moving things around to get them exactly where we wanted them. And we've added some, uh, some ferns that we dug up back in the woods. Uh, that was kind of a test because we needed, the ferns need shade, and we weren't sure about how much shade we would get here. And this actually turns out in the hottest part of the summer to have shade from mid-afternoon on. Some of the other things that I really like about the, the design 
Uh, they put in these humongous flat rocks for stepping across the water. That's the, the main pathway on that side of the pool. And it's such a nice effect, I mean, especially after we have a huge rain, the water level comes up in the pond and you just get the very top surface of that center stone. Now that stone is also used as the feeding place for the koi. Uh, we, we've added uh, five koi to the original three and we have various sizes and uh, we just, we love the fish. We, we come out and talk to them in the morning. <laughs>